Welcome to another Show Me Type uh, video with Mr. Oliver. Uh, this time I'm using Explain Everything, another app which does a similar job and allows me to uh, continue to these videos for you and to put them on the VLE. Today we're going to see how we find a half, a quarter, two quarters and three quarters of sets of objects. Uh, let's look at an example first. What about a half? A uh, half means one out of every two. Uh, it can also mean sharing between two people. We're not using sharing today, we're going to be using grouping. So let's look at the example of a half. One out of every two, or a half of ten, means that for every pile of two that you can see, shade one of them. So for every column of two circles, I'm going to colour in one of those. That's one out of every two, one out of every two, one out of every two, one out of every two. And there's two, four, six, eight circles there, so I need two more. So I've got to make sure I start with ten. If I start with ten, there you can see one out of every two equals a half, and a half of ten equals five. So the principle, the idea of finding one out of every is very helpful for finding fractions of numbers, regardless of what the fraction is. Let's try another example. A quarter, that's one out of every four. Okay, And the advantage of fractions is it's like a code. It tells you how many you need to keep and how many you need to put in each pile before you decide which, how many you're going to keep. So the number on the bottom, the denominator, tells you how big each pile will be. The number on top, the numerator, will tell you how many you get to keep out of every however many. So let's look at a quarter of 12. You can see I've organised them into sets of four. So I'm going to keep one out of that column of four, one out of that column of four, and one out of that column of four. Visually then, you can see quite clearly a quarter of 12 equals three. I can check this by knowing that a half of 12 equals 6, and a half of a half of 12 equals 3. So a half of a half of 12 is 3, which is a half of a half is the same as a quarter. Okay, if you cut a half into half, you'll end up with quarters. Okay, another example. So what about if I ask for two quarters of eight? Well, some people say, isn't that the same as doing a half? Well, it is. Uh, let's visualize that using ratio. Okay, here we go. So one out of every two of eight gives me the answer four, and two quarters of eight, that's two out of every four, Notice I've set up my two quarters in piles of four, and I'm now shading in two out of every four in each column. Uh, again, we're using the mathematical arrays, which we used a lot with multiplication and division. And as you can see, a half of eight is the same value, different appearance, to two quarters of eight. Okay, what about three quarters? Well, three quarters in the same method we've used repeatedly now. It works like this. Three out of every four means three quarters. So three quarters of 12 means three out of every four. So three out of that four. Three out of that four. Three out of that four. Giving me nine. Okay. Now, I tend to use pictures a lot with Key Stage 1. With all the Key Stage 2 children, I'll show them a shorter abridged work method um, of recording. But I think it's really important that children have something very concrete, very pictorial to fall back on that will help them find the answers to these kind of problems. Okay. Look again at the methods that we've used, watch the video a couple of times, and see if you can find the answer to these tricky problems. Good luck.